Hello, this is Todd Carter. Today I'm going to walk you through TaxPoint. So TaxPoint is an application that keeps your customers informed of their tax return status. If you're an ERO or tax repair that works for a tax office, it's very important to keep your customers up to date on what's going on with their, t their federal tax returns. So what we've done is we've created an application that allows you to f continue to focus on working with your customers directly with their tax returns, but then let us go ahead and communicate with your customers around the status. So how it works is if you're a Drake customer and use the Drake software, we actually, uh, this year's first year, we actually integrate with Drake in that we sync our information. The information is synced between Drake and us uh, for your, your uh, user's tax return information. And then, uh, based upon uh, what the status may be, we will communicate that status with your customers via um, outbound phone calls, uh, text messages, or even email. Uh, alternately, your customers can, or alternatively, your customers can actually call in to a toll-free number that we have, as well as check on the website at refundpoint.com their status uh, 24 by 7. The pricing for this service, uh, we actually have three um, plans uh, that you can go through. We have a silver, we have a gold, and a platinum plan. The silver plan is really just to get you started. It's a free plan. It's for somebody that does nothing but e-files and we um, will we'll allow them to we'll send email as well as allow them to check their status of the return on our website refundpoint.com. Now uh, the difference between the silver and the gold plan is that should your customers or decide they want to rather be te have a text message sent to them or an actually an outbound phone call placed to them we will actually do that with a gold plan so but the only difference between the silver and the gold is just really that capability of doing the the text message or or phone notifications and then with our platinum you actually bring in if you do any bank products and and the way tax point defines bank products is really any any products such as a row or a rack, or really, if you think about a bank product, is really if you float someone your uh, your expenses. So, for example, if you take your fees out of their um, out of their return, um, so out of their refund, then uh, that's really considered a bank product, and that's kind of where we fall into this, where you may want to take a, a harder look at the plat platinum. So, you know, e-files are really for the, the silver and the gold, and if you do any bank products, we really want to um, encourage you to look at the, the platinum. And of course, for the platinum, we have a couple different pricing structures. We, we carry forward the pricing structure for the e-files from, from the gold, and um, that's 25 cents per text or phone notification. And then for our, our bank products, it's actually 50 50 cents per bank product. Now, uh, as I mentioned before, there's several ways to actually uh, uh, contact your customer. Right? There's there's email, there's uh, text messaging, and we actually can out, actually outdo it an outbound phone call as well. So there's there's three methods. Now you can choose all three methods should you should you want, and we're still going to only charge you for the one uh, per return. So that's very important to understand. So even if your customer calls into our toll free number or checks our website uh, dozens of times, even if they say we want text message, phone, and, and email, we're only going to charge you per bank product or per e file. So it's very important. Another important concept to understand is if you decide between the silver and the gold, you decide to go with the gold, and none of your customers uh, or very few of your customers choose to actually receive text, uh, text messages or they actually ever want to uh, receive a phone call, you obviously are not going to get charged for those returns. So for example, if a, if a customer signed up that had a thousand e-files and none of them, all they wanted was, was, was email, then and they sign up for the gold, then just that option is available to you. We do not charge you for that because all your customers received email. Now clearly if all thousand customers said, hey, we want to be text messaged, well then we'll charge you a um, thousand times twenty five cents. Now um, for the platinum plan, keep in mind that we're actually adding on the capability for people to call in for the IVR. So for the platinum plan, um, it's, it's just 50 cents per bank product flat. Now, if you want to understand how to choose the different services, what you want to do is kind of use what we call our plan picker. So our plan picker allows you to come in and fill out various inf pieces of information. So for example, let's say you did a, um, a thousand e-files 
you come in here, um, the number of rows that you may do. Maybe you do only maybe 100 of those. And ERCs, let's say, say you do 500 of these. So as you can see, we've, we've populated what we expect we're going to do this year for our single office. We have one office. Now, how would you like, how would your customers like to be notified? Well, you're probably going to give them the option of receiving email, right? Um, text messaging is really all the rage these days, so text messaging, we'll go ahead and offer them that. Uh, receive notifications by phone. Um, some customers actually like that um, because they may not have a cell phone or they may want you to call their house. Uh, keep in mind, the, the text message will only work against a cell phone set that provide you that cell phone. And then, of course, re, uh, using refundpoint.com. Well, that's free, and um, some of my customers may be, um, have Internet access. We won't allow that. And then, of course, the toll-free number. So for someone that maybe wants to call in, um, doesn't want to offer any uh, phone numbers to us other than their home number, and maybe just would rather just call in, we can offer that as well. So once you fill this out, you can get a sense of... Uh, what actually is the plan that's recommended for you? So based upon the fact that I'm doing some bank products, the Platinum service was offered to me. Now as you can see here, the total cost for my 1,600 bank products for the entire tax season is going to be $550, or about $0.34 cents a tax return. Now, these numbers obviously um, are there a couple things built into them that we need to understand. First of all, this means that 100% of these 1,600 returns is what you sent to TaxPoint. Um, within the Drake software, and we'll, we'll talk about this in another video, you can actually choose what returns are sent to us and what returns are not sent to us. And the returns that aren't sent to us are considered undisclosed returns. Those are returns you uh, didn't want to disclose to us. So clearly, we're not going to know about those, so you're not going to be charged for those. So that will obviously drive the cost down here. Um, the other thing is, assuming here, is that all of your e-files wanted a text message or a phone call as well. Now, that's again, that's kind of the assumptions this tool is making. Another assumption the tool is making is we've we've gone through and we build out we bill you um, at the end of each month within tax season that means January February March and April and what we've done is we've assumed then that of the 1600 returns 10 percent will happen in January 45 in February 25 in March and 20 percent in April now clearly these are, are just guesses um, your business is, is going to more like more than more than not probably going to uh, vary from this but these are just to kind of give you some estimates so for example you can see here that in January uh, based upon this information you, you can look at a bill potentially of, of $55 and then of course 247 137 50 and 110 so this is what it would look like um, as far as the billing goes for this tax season so to register for account it's really simple. Just go in and hit register. You apply your you supply your first name, your last name, and your email address. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then immediately we're asked to choose a plan. And of course, um, you know we've we've discussed the various plans. And now that you've you've made your decision, you can choose a plan. And what we'll do is we'll actually ask you to create your first your first office. And so uh, the office is uh, really there's a one-to-one -one mapping between an office and an ethan. So an office represents um, a physical location and also represents an ethan. So we'll just we'll give this our our, our, our office name. And again, this is just a display name. It's something for you to, to um, be able to tell the difference between one office and the other. Uh, we'll just give it a test number here. Company name. Office phone number. Now, the office phone number, we'll go ahead and put in some... The office phone number is really only used when uh, you decide you want to announce any kind of IRS reject. So what we do is, um, by default, we don't announce IRS rejects, but should you want to, we can actually call your customer or text your customer, and whenever we do that, we will supply the office number um, that the reject came from. So for example, if you have 10 offices, uh, we send out a reject, we know which office that ca that return came from, we'll send that office number along with the uh, the phone message to those folks so that they can actually call back in and, 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 uh, and fix the return.
Now, the time zone. The time zone is the time zone of the off which sits in the office, and we use this for really two um, two uh, uh, aspects. The first is that whenever we call your customers and let them know their status of returns, we want to make sure we call between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Um, for the time zone in which the office existed, because last thing we want to do is wake anybody up. Uh, with our phone call letting them know um, the status of their return. So we, we want to make sure we do that. The other thing is, is we're going to actually collect from you, um, and, and when we configure the office, we'll collect from you the um, the hours of operation in which your office is open. And so by using those those hours of operation and this, the time zone, then we're able to tell a customer when they check refundpoint.com whether your office is currently open or closed. And of course, in here, we will collect a um, a credit card number, from you, and we'll use this if again, if you sign up for gold or platinum, we'll collect a credit card. Uh, if you're not going to um, use the uh, gold or platinum, the silver, we we do not. You'll skip this step, and then you hit enroll, and then you're you're enrolled in the service. So let's go ahead and log out, and let's log in as a user that has already signed up and enrolled. Now here I am. Um, this is my uh, platinum account, and immediately we're given the dashboard. So this is what our, our dashboard looks like. Now the dashboard has a couple things on it. One is a common task, so um, getting started is a documentation on how to actually get started and set everything up. Walks you through screenshots and everything provided. Um, create an office. Um, this is a, 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 much like the, we created an office earlier. If you have additional offices, you know this is where you'll create your second, third, and fourth, and and so on offices. There's really no uh, maximum number of offices you can create. Um, it, it's all on how many EFINs you have. So you definitely want to um, create. You need to create an office for each EFIN. That way, that EFIN then is transmitted to Drake, and then Drake knows that they can send us the tax return information from that EFIN slash office. And then we have another option of actually tracking a tax return. So in here, you can actually go in here, uh, select a Social Security number, and hit Track Return. And what we'll do is we'll actually show you every time we receive new status information from Drake, um, we'll show you that information. Every time a customer has called in um, in the toll-free number or checked the website and supplied the Social Security number, we will show you that information. Uh, every time we have made an outbound phone call or sent an email or sent a text message uh, with that status information, we will show you that here. So really it's an entire history of what's going on with that Social Security number what, right from here. Uh, back to the dashboard. Um, over here, you have some information. So right now, this is when we're recording the video. I'm actually recording the video before any data is available for this tax year. But what you'll find over here is there'll be a a, a line graph showing you um, the number of 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 inquiries uh, for your for various statuses. Um, uh, by day. So what you'll see is you'll see how many web requests you had for the day, how many people have, have called in on the IVR, how many uh, outbound phone calls we made by day. Give you a sense of really the value that um, the tax point is bringing you. Because these are phone calls that you didn't have to take. These are um, uh, web requests that you didn't have to host a website for. These are emails that you didn't have to send. So things like that. Um, at the bottom, you actually get a sense of how many e-files, bank products, and, and total tax returns that you have um, throughout your offices. So it kind of gives you a sense of, of, of um, for progress as you move through the um, move through the tax season. These numbers will will constantly go get higher and higher. And then finally, we want to take a look at let's take a look at the offices. So we created our first office when we first we first signed up, and then after that we can go back in here and edit this office with some more information should we choose. Now uh, we'll go through scroll down here a little bit. So our office has our name, our EFIN, uh, our company name, and so um, keep in mind the difference between the name and the company name. Uh, the the name of the office is just again for your display information, and and the company name is really the the name in which your company um, uh, operates under. And then you have your address. You can see I'm in the central time zone. And then I have the local time at the office. And the reason I can tell you this is because you've chosen the time zone. And then, of course, the office is currently open. And the reason we can tell you this is because we've you've populated. Um, these are not populated by default. By default, they're not here. We can't offer that information. But should you choose, you can actually put the, uh, the uh, office hours right here and, and edit those.
Now we have a couple of, of status information. So these are, uh, think about them, these are knobs that you can actually tweak to, under, to uh, control when your check ready statuses go out and when and if you choose your IRS reject statuses to go out. And we'll be talking about these further in a, another video. But this is where you would um, you'd see how those are set. Now, you can see here this screen, looking at the screen, it's all uh, read only. But what you can do is you go in here and edit the office. And then you can edit most things about the office. One thing you cannot edit is the EFIN. Um, so if you should choose, you, you made a mistake and you, you type in the wrong EFIN, just delete the office and start over. Um, but in here, you'll see that um, I can go through here. I can edit the hours of operation should I choose and change when um, when my office may open. So let's say Saturday, I decide I want to work really early. Uh, we can do that. And then again, I can choose the uh, the uh, ready status and the IRS reject status, and we'll cover that in another video. Once I'm done changing, hit update, and now my office time has been updated. All right, so let's look at reporting. Right now, again, um, the 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 time at which we're recording this video, there's really not any reports to be shown here. But what we're going to have is we're going to have reports that show you the number of returns, uh, specifically e-files and bank products that we've seen come in every single day. So it gives you a sense of what your busy days are um, and where your uh, where your peak is. You know where you um, uh, what your busiest day was during tax season, what the peak was, and then how you maybe how you tailed off. And that gives a lot of EROs a sense of where their business um, is going to be very busy, where they need to ha really have all hands on deck, and then again shows them that long tail um, right around the second week of February all the way down into April where it just kind of gets a little bit slower a as time progresses. And then maybe right before April 15th we start seeing it peak back up again. And this gives you, really gives you a way of, of, of putting numbers uh, along with those, um, you know, with with your history of what you've 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 seen probably in the past with uh, previous um, previous tax years, a couple other things in here um, we'll show you. This is where you can ma actually manage your credit cards right from in here. Uh, we have a billing section, and this will be populated as uh, we bill you at the end of each each month. Uh, again, that's only going to pertain to platinum and gold members. And then we have a number of downloads here. Our downloads are really around, um, there's two downloads right now. There's a disclosure form and a use form. And these are really to uh, part of the uh, IRS's 7216 rules. So this, the regulation 7216 says that if you want to disclose um, uh, your customer's information, your client's information with a third party such as TaxPoint, you should fill out these forms um, so that we offer those forms available for you to download and, and print out um, uh, how you see fit. Now, one of the other side I wanted to show you is uh, Refund Point. Now, this is uh, Refund Point, and this is where your customers may go to check um, their status, uh, uh, their their um, refund. So we actually have a so we'll check a Social Security number. We'll just use our our test Social Security number in here, all ones, and then I want to go ahead and type the uh, CAPTCHA. This is three two eight zero nine seven, and we'll hit check status. And a couple of things. You'll see that we have the status. So this particular, this is a, a demo return. You'll see that we have our check is ready. You can come into the office and pick it up. Notice we tell you the office uh, address. Uh, we tell you the office is currently open based upon the hours of operations. We give you the hours of operations. And then, of course, clicking here, we actually give you a map showing you exactly where that office location is. So should it be your uh, spouse or someone else that, that's going to come in and pick the check up for you, this would be a great way for them to maybe um, be able to get to the office and, and, and find their way and pick up that check. So uh, again, a great um, you know offering. So some things you need to look at. You know when you when you fill out your office. You know if you do not give us the hours of operations, we're not going to show those here. If you do not give us um, your address, we we can't show that either. So you know these are things that you want to do when you populate an office and, and fill it out. This is where that information actually will flow back through into the user experience. So that's been a uh, walkthrough of TaxPoint. I want to thank you.